Um, when he stops, what do you do? You just yank him? Yeah, just pull him up, get him onto his up. feet. And does he, going. when you pull him up and you put him back on the ground, he just falls back down? No, not really. Yeah. Doesn't really do it that for me, maybe to you, but not to me. Because one thing you could do is like, uh, you could either try to bribe them with a toy mm -hmm. and carry a toy with you mm -hmm. and be like, hey, 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 and then it makes them walk you up. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like alternative, instead of yanking them and making them, like forcing them. Because some dogs, if you do it that way, you actually got to traumatize them. They're not going to walk uh. you up. Sometimes, not all the time, mm -hmm. but if it ends up working out for you, you know, just yanking them and pulling them, continue doing it. If it works, if you notice that he starts uh, acting differently, maybe use a toy and it's like, come here, come here. Mm -hmm. Type of thing to make him, but you're like, oh, we're going to go play. Type of thing. So it makes him want to get up and go. Mm -hmm. okay. Sometimes that works out too, but it depends on which method you want to use. Mm -hmm. Type of thing. Yeah. I see. So not anymore, but maybe the first one month. Sometimes Asterion tried to grab some toy when we go to walk. So do you think we should take it? If he did? Wanna... Yeah, you don't remember? When I put the leash on him, mm. he go to grab some toy uh -huh. and come to the entrance. And I told him don't bring it. So, Granny, if, he, if you're not going to go to a dog park or something like that, um, you can take it just in case he wants to play. Okay. Think, especially if that's when they start doing the dead way of like, oh, I was gonna lay here. Mm -hmm. It's because they're bored. Yeah. As a bored, they don't want to. They thought we're gonna go play. We're not playing. We're walking. I don't want to walk. Okay. It's like a kid. Hey, go run the mile. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna run the mile easily. <laughs> they rather go play soccer, basketball, something more interactive mm -hmm. to make them. Run. Okay. I think it's kind of like switching the opportunity type of thing. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you have to be saying sit when they're doing that? Not at the beginning. No? Not at the beginning. Because you want them to get the use of the momentum. Oh. Uh. Like if you do it a couple of times, probably up to like, I want to say maybe do it a couple of times up until they get about 90% accurate of it doing it more often and correctly all mm. the time. That's when you start affiliating the words. Uh. Leaving things alone, coming here, all that kind of stuff. So they understand the difference. Styrian. No, you're a Styrian? Kara Kala. That's Kara. That was right. Styrian, go back to her. Styrian, go back to her. Styrian, go back to her. Sit. No, don't take the cookies. Good boy. Good. Good. You did such easy. <laughs> huh? When we tried to do it, it didn't work at all. It's because you guys were doing it one at a time, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I was doing, yeah. 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 You had to do it both at the same time. So we have granite right now. Let me see if they do it now. Mm. Over here. Uh -huh. Over here. Good? Good boy. You know I have nothing. So granted, it just uh, depends on your hand gestures too. They learn by hand gestures. And I think, so when you guys are starting the cross, you're gonna see me doing a lot of hand signals with your dogs. Because okay. um, granted, do you also speak Japanese or Vietnamese mm -hmm. or something like that? Yeah. Do you want them to learn some languages like that too? Like uh, so? Eventually. eventually? Mm -hmm. okay. So because pretty much the way it's gonna work is I'm gonna show, you, show them the hand signals. Mm -hmm. First, we're going to teach them in, like, in English, mm -hmm. and then eventually, if you want to transition them into like Japanese, uh, Korean, to Dutch, to um, Russian, Portuguese, Spanish, French, whatever, it's the same hand gesture, but you just mm -hmm. announce it differently. Mm -hmm. no. I think that's it. But you just have to keep the hand gestures the same. Mm -hmm. Like, granted, my dogs know Spanish, English, and the hand gestures. 
as well. Cool. So it just takes a while it, to get them fully trained mm -hmm. uh, with hand gestures and vocals. Mm -hmm. It takes two years. Mm -hmm. So as long as you're um, doing it every single day as much as possible, you're fine. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think it'll be really, really good for pass. It'll be very good for pass. Hey, babies. You don't like me, huh? <laughs> I know you like to go for the nose. We, we really want to stop doing the, the jumping on the, for the yeah. nose. Mm -hmm. Especially many little, little kids, kids want to pet them. Mm -hmm. So we are not very happy how they go around the party people. Gotcha. <laughs> so yeah. when kids come to pet them, I always hold them. Because I don't want to do jump on the kids. Okay. But how do you hold them? Do you hold them like as you're hugging them? Yeah, like. Like you saw the human that. Oh, okay. What you want to do is just grab them by the collar and hold them oh, by the collar. Like here? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Andy, uh, don't do it from up here. Mm -hmm. Do it from the bottom. Just hold on oh. to from the bottom. Okay. So when he tries to jump, oh, oh yeah. okay. Oh, mm. tap it the and small allowed to jump the more. Mm. Andy, you can do it that way. Um, or you can put like when you're outside somewhere. And I think is when you see somebody that wants to come and say hi to them. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Go well, hold on one second. Granted, they're gonna be on the leash. Mm -hmm. um, your leash is now connected up in the front, right? Mm -hmm. I think. So what you want to do is grab the leash, step on the leash. Okay. Oh, okay. So instead of you actually holding them now, you're actually stepping on the leash, and you kind of keep it tight so he's not able to jump up. Okay. And so that's another tactic you can do for right now. Um, you just have to learn. Mm -hmm. They're puppies. Yeah. They're just little tiny puppies. They're like what five months now? Almost six. Almost six. It's almost six months. Oh my god, they're so quick. <laughs> So quick. Puppy. <laughs> <laughs> baby. Wanna go say hi? Do you wanna kiss the puppy? Baby. Puppy. 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 She has five at home. <laughs> hi, puppy. <laughs> She's so strong. Who's the bark? He. He did. So it's Kala. Yes, Kala. Okay. Can you tell the difference between the barks? Hmm? Can you tell the difference that, between the bark? Like that bark? No, but the high pitch bark, yeah. The high pitch bark, but not like regular bark? Yeah. You can't tell the difference. Do they have almost about the same bark? Mm -hmm. Do they have the same bark, kind of? Sort of. Sort of, a little bit. Yeah, me... I can tell by growling who's who, uh, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can tell by the growling? Which one has a more bass tone for the growl? Asterian. Asterian. Asterian has more of a bass. Yes. And then uh, Gara has more of like a what, high pitch growl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when they're wrestling, there's a a, a, a steer, uh, kata sounds like a tauntaun from Star Wars. Tauntaun, which one's tauntaun? The tauntauns, the the like the horse in Empire Strikes Back that in the snow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's what he sounds like when they're. <laughs> Is that yeah, what he's yeah. To? yeah. 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 <laughs> like, why are you making fun of me? <laughs> <laughs> you said that's kata, or is that? That's kata when he that's does kata. it. Yeah. And does Asterian uh, has his sound like that too, or not? Yeah, Asterian does something too. He like breathes heavily. Oh, he